Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm just going to make a real quick, quick short video here on the uh, Reality XP GTN 750 since everybody's interested and some people are having some issues with it. Now, I don't know if this will help you or not, but we'll go through it real quick here. I got my recorder started and where you get the Reality XP GTN 750 is on their page right here realityxp.com and then you click on products and when you go to the product page you have to be careful because if you look at this page there's two sections this top section says prepared 3D and uh, for uh, FSX and down below it's for X-Plane 11, 10 and 9 so make sure if you're going to buy this unit that you buy it from the right section. Here's the one for the uh, X-Plane 11. It says right in here. Don't be buying this one up here. So you buy this one. And when you get it, I saved it to my to one of my hard drives. Um, you'll get a thing like this on your, on your computer. I just stuck it into a hard drive to save it. And when you start that up, you get, do you want to run it? run it and you'll get a thing like this you can test your connection and you click OK connection passed alright then you continue this computer I want on here gives you some blah 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 stuff right and it'll get your stuff here now I've already got it installed so I've got a button that says reinstall you'll actually click on this button down here click here for secure purchase and you go through a rigmarole and you'll get it installed on your on your computer and uh, I'll close this now I'll close this I'll minimize it so um, when you get on your computer and you get into your X-Plane 11 um, is this one for my plane yeah, there's, here's my X-Plane 11. Alright. You can go back here, common. X-Plane 11. And you'll get a thing on your, on your computer that looks like this. RXP GTN X-Plane 11 for the 750 setup. It's a setup thing you'll get after you do the purchase key. You start that up. I just have a copy in the game. I don't know why. Maybe just puts one there. You start it up and you accept the agreement. You go to next. You get a page like this for X-Plane, all right? And you get your choices, X-Plane 11, X-Plane 10, X-Plane 9. So I want it for X-Plane 11. You go to next. And when you go to next, in this window, you have to select where your X-Plane 11 is. D drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, X Plane 11, because I have Steam, and I've got it in my D drive. Yours might be C program files times 86, X Plane 11. Wherever you have your X Plane 11, put it in that box. You click Next. And you create a desktop shortcut. This is as far as I can go with this. When you collect this, it'll go ahead and uh, install it. And when it installs it, it goes into your plugins. Resources, plugins. There it is right here. RXP GTN. There's my GTN 750. It goes into your plugins. That's the only place it goes. It's all you have to worry about. So we've got it in our plugins in our X-Plane 11. I can minimize this. And I'll open my game. I've already started my game. And here's the... Uh, I've got, you see up here, I've got it paused. So we don't have to listen to them engines running. And this here is the uh, Turbo Commander. I've just got the plain skin on it for now. It comes with uh, Carinado. If I hit the pause here, how loud this is. Jump back inside. Now, when you get a Carinado plane that says it, it's compatible with the GTN 750, if you have the GTN 750 in your plugins, 
uh, when you load the plane for the first time, it should appear here. Um, if it doesn't, if it doesn't appear here, all you have to do is go up into your plugins up here, go into your Reality XP GTN GTN1, click on GTN 750, and there it goes. Puts it in the plane. Still loading up, I think. If I hit. If you don't have the GTN 750 and you buy the Karen Auto uh, Turbo Commander, this is what it looked like when you got it. You just get it with the uh, ENS 530. And if you, uh, like I say, if you buy the GTN 750, it'll when you load the plane, it'll automatically be loaded in here. Usually it's loaded the first time you put the plane in. But if it's not loaded, just go up in here into your plugins and load it. That's all there is to it. So, anyway, pretty simple. I hope that helps everybody. There you go.